I'm joined today by Satish Kumar, the Indian-born environmentalist who uh, 50 years ago, I believe, walked all the way from India to the UK uh, in protest at nuclear weapons. And uh, most recently, last week, you bought The Ecologist magazine, another long-running magazine. Satish, thanks for coming in. I've got some questions for you myself, and we've uh, had a lot on the site as well from readers. I suppose, um, first of all, I just wanted to ask you, you're in the UK known partly for being the editor of Resurgence magazine, um, which is... Uh, 45 years old, I believe. Um, could you tell us a little bit about how you came to get the job in the first place? In 1973, I was uh, invited to become the editor of Resurgence magazine. And uh, the person who used to be involved in that uh, work at that time was E. F. Schubacher, the author of Small is Beautiful. So he said to me, Satish, I would like you to be the editor because I know your work, I know your ideas. And I said, Mr. Uh, Schumacher, I want to go back to India. He said, why? I said, I want to work with the Gandhians. Schumacher said, Satish, there are many Gandhians in India. <laughs> we need one in England. So please stay and edit resurgence for us. And bring some of the uh, Gandhian values and Indian values into England. East and West must meet. So I said to Schumacher, all right, you are very persuasive, sounds a good idea. I'll become editor on one condition. Will you write in every issue of Resurgence? And he said, yes, that's the deal. So while he was alive, he wrote in every issue of Resurgence. Everyone, didn't miss Everyone one. not one single missing. And altogether, he wrote 35 articles. And, and the small is beautiful philosophy, which he promoted in his book, he promoted through Resurgence. Uh, in, in his articles. One thing would you say you're most proud of an article or campaign that Resurgence has done? Uh, one of the uh, most important thing we have promoted is James Lovelock mm. and his Gaia mm -hmm. theory. Because until James Lovelock, we thought that Earth is not alive and, um, and only humans are alive uh, or animals maybe have also soul. Some people say, some people say no. Um, but uh, we promoted through resurgence that the Earth is a living system. And that's a kind of scientific as well as philosophical aspect. And then we brought this into deep ecology. And deep ecology means that not only Earth is alive, but everything upon this Earth has intrinsic value. So the trees, the rivers, the mountains are good, not because they are useful to humans, but they are good in themselves. And we need to have not ownership of nature, but relationship with nature. So that's the kind of philosophy and science that we promoted. But in addition to that, of course, we, are, we have promoted uh, um, renewable energy very much. And at the time when resurgence was uh, established mm. in the late 60s, mm. uh, if somebody said, as we did say, that we should go for renewable energy and wind power and solar energy, people were laughing at us. They say, you must be crazy. So cheap oil available. But now, uh, wind power and solar power has become mainstream. Mm. So that's a kind of contribution resurgence has made. Mm. And, um, and so, you, so you bought The Ecologist magazine, uh, a long-running magazine set up by um, Teddy Goldsmith from the Goldsmith family um, just very recently. Um, and, and I understand that's now to be, to be merged, to so there be a, a new title, Resurgence and The Ecologist. C could you explain why, why you were attracted to buy the magazine? First of all, uh, I knew Teddy Goldsmith very well. We were uh, friends and we worked together. And uh, Zach, uh, having become, Zach Goldsmith, mm. having become MP uh, from Richmond, has very little time uh, to pay attention to the ecologist. And so uh, the ecologist magazine, which was a print magazine, stopped in 2009 and became only online. And even when it is only online, uh, Zach doesn't have much time. And so he thought that, uh, we are not making the best use of our title and our presence. How we can make the ecologist uh, stronger? Mm. And, and I was thinking at the same time that Resurgence is a very good magazine. Mm. We have going for 45 years, mm. but it lacks a little bit of political edge. Mm. And so Zach and I talked about it and I said, why don't we come together? join our forces together and become a one united strong magazine with a strong website and a strong print version. And so why not? And so 
this is how the idea came. So it's not a buying selling as, as such. It's a more collaboration. And it is, uh, Zach has given the ecologist as a gift to resurgence. So resurgence is a charity. Mm -hmm. Resurgence is published by Resurgence Trust, mm -hmm. which is a charity. And so uh, there's no money involved. There's no uh, really anything. One pound. One pound. <laughs> Only a notional one yeah. pound. So basically, we are working together to make a stronger magazine for the environment movement and stronger voice of environment to the world. And, and can you tell us a bit about what this you know, new effort, what is effectively a new magazine, what, what, it'll, what it'll be like, I mean, what will its voice be like, what sort of stories will it cover? Yeah. Now, uh, on the masthead, on the cover, we will have resurgence and the ecologist. And then inside the magazine, we will have eight to ten pages purely devoted to the kind of articles which we put on the website of the ecologist. The ecologist website will continue but some of those articles we'll put in the magazine as well. And we will also continue Resurgence website and Resurgence type of articles which are more cultural, more artistic, more philosophical, more spiritual. Those articles will continue. So it will be a marriage, you can say, of yin and yang. So political cutting edge, uh, invest investigating mm -hmm. uh, uh, articles mm. from the ecologist will come into the magazine. Would that be an easy marriage? I think it will be easy marriage okay. because you need masculine mm -hmm. and you need feminine. Uh, marriage is al always between the two sexes. So uh, resurgence is, you can say, a bit more feminine, a bit more soft touch. It has a more cultural and artistic. Um, once the Guardian called it the, uh, the artistic and spiritual uh, flagship of the Green Movement, resurgence. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the political edge mm -hmm. will come into it uh, by bringing uh, the authors and contributors of the ecologist. But the website will continue and all those articles will be on the website. Okay, great. And I have to ask you this, um, uh, I mean, what, what's the fate of the uh, journalists who work at The Ecologist at the moment? Uh, we are at the moment negotiating. They have become now part of Resurgence mm. and we are negotiating. So we are only in the process. We don't have any final arrangement. So we are talking to them. And some of them, um, uh, because the Resurgence office is in Heartland, mm. North Devon. Mm. So now the ecologist office will be relocated mm -hmm. uh, and from moved from out of from London, London. Yeah. from London yeah. uh, to Devon. So now what we are negotiating with the staff is who is prepared to move and relocate. So some of may not want to be relocated. Sure. So we have to negotiate and discuss. So we have not yet any decision about it. Okay. Thank you very much, Satish Kumar. You are welcome. Thank you.